a great occasion to tell you what are the expectations and what are the leadership qualities from a leader. So, good evening to everybody and special thanks to the students who has come from all over India. This is a great occasion to tell you what are the expectations and what are the leadership qualities from a leader. So my dear student, the first aspect of the thing is you should take the initiative. For the one who takes the initiative, one who takes the first step towards any goal, anything, he will become a leader. Leader is the one who learns the things. Without learning the things, you will not be able to become a leader. You should have your own thought process, uh, own thought process learning. If you go in a uh, MNC, a technical leader will be assigned to you. A team leader will be assigned to you. In a classroom, your teacher is a leader because it, it, it tells you a lot of things. In political field, the people are there to tell you the things. The leader is the one who has the learning with him. Without learning, nobody can become a uh, leader. Explore until unless you have a, your mind and you are not going to explore the things. Your mindset is not that you are only thinking about the money, you are thinking about the career, you are thinking about the uh, geography. You have to have the uh, learning and uh, exploring of the things in the different fields. When you become a public face, that means that you, if you become a leader, anybody can ask any question. So that uh, exploration has to be done. The base of the knowledge has to be increased. You have to learn it. What you learn doesn't mean means that it is the only full stop of the learning. You have to explore. You have to see that thing with your eyes, with your ears, and you have to make your own understanding of the subject. Until and unless you cannot add anything to what you have learned, you will not be able to become a uh, orientally expendable leader. Adding the things. Once you start adding the things, what you have learned, if you have learned from some book and you have a, your view and you have a, something to add to that book and uh, you can do something extra or you can think about extra, then you have done a wonderfully good because you have learned the things, you have explored the things. Now you are in a position to contribute the things. Contribute the learning, that add, that addition is the most important, single most important to the thought process. Because if you go to the masses, if you cannot speak the things in a different way, or you cannot explain the things in a different way, you will not be accepted, accepted as a leader. Then, you have done everything, you have knowledge, you have explored the thing, you have added your own thought process, what is your experience. Add means what is your experience. If you go to uh, Bangalore and you have a good, a nice experience, that is exploration of the things and addition of the things. Then you have to deliver. If somebody asks me something about the Bangalore, I should be able to tell because I have visited uh, Bangalore, uh, Bangalore, and I should be able to tell the things about uh, the things. If I cannot deliver, you will not acknowledge me. Earn the faith. That is, uh, uh, in a way, earn the faith means all your mistakes are my mistake if I am your leader and all your credits is your credit. If you have done good, so you take the credit. And if something goes wrong, I should take first and I should take the blame and I should uh, be the one because I fail to give and I fail to deliver something to you that's why there is a uh, failure is our it is the respect if at the end of the day and if i after half an hour or one hour or whatever uh, if i do not garner your respect i am not a good leader if you cannot say sir has given us 35 minutes 40 minutes and it is a valuable 45 minutes we have learned something if you will not respect us after 45 minutes, I fail to be a leader. I am the leader now of the masses because you have closed the eyes on my saying and there was a question which I have to give you a creditable answer that I am not a leader of the 
classes because I am the president of Vardai Group of College doesn't mean that I, am the, I have to be on the stages. I have started my journey right from the auditorium and I have started coming towards forward. I was a student, I must be listening to somebody and somebody must have motivated me to come and do the things what I have done. Hi, so we are here at SIH 2022 Grand Finale Hardware Edition. What is your project and what you are doing uh, right now? This is basically an uh, effective way for recharging our groundwater. Uh, um, uh, earlier times, our, our land was not covered in uh, concrete buildings. So due to urbanization and rapid industrialization, our land was covered by our concrete buildings and natural recharge of the uh, groundwater has been lost. So it's our responsibility to uh, take the whole groundwater uh, per to percolate to the ground, uh, ground so that we can recharge or we can maintain the ecosystem of rainwater and groundwater. So our idea suggests that to take, uh, to give gravel pits, this is a sample of a prototype of a gravel pit, gravel pit in a stormwater drainage so that the upcoming flow of the rainwater is taken directly to the groundwater. This is a working model. We are, the working of the whole project will be explained by uh, Jidin. So uh, this is a working model that we are going to plan and it just uh, started it. Uh, from the prototype we can see that uh, we have filled a uh, part of the prototype, uh, part of the pit with 40 to 50mm size of aggregates and we have also introduced a new type of mesh uh, filled with aggregates for the easy use of the pit and for, to, for the cleaning purposes. So what we are actually doing in this uh, working model will be that we will be filling this um, uh, box with uh, soil and we will be showing the actual and live, uh, live water recharge with, from the drainage and uh, we can see that the water level rising uh, and the water will be purified which increases the quantity and quality of the water at the same time and this will be live also uh, this effect is uh, I mean this uh, measure is very simple uh, effective and elegant. What are you doing right now? Like, what's your project? Our problem statement is on conserving and collecting of rainwater. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was given by Minister of Urban and Housing FIs. Uh, problem statement ID BV814. Uh, it comes under the theme of disaster management. And initially, we are collecting rainwater which falls on the terrace to the small tank, which is placed on the sajja as we have the sun shades on the rooms. And uh, later on, the water which is passed into the small tank, it has a two ways, where the bottom one has a small way and the upper one has a long way. And from that, the, uh, the small tank is placed with a uh, starting layer of charcoal followed by gravel and the sand. Water gets filtered out from this and it passes to the uh, square tank which is present on the washroom inside the home. Uh, actually, this is a portable PP kit sterilizer. We are working on the chamber of the sterilizer chamber. So inside we'll be placing UV lights and uh, we'll be uh, inserting the ozone gas into it and uh, it will be fully automated and with the help of the Arduino program we'll control the en entire system and this is a model to uh, sterilize a PP kit and other medical equipments. Tinha, 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 tinha
Chum 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 ch